Sound the horns, toot the trumpets, mm. and bang the drums. With rates rising to a two month high, there's nothing more important than getting the attention of potential home buyers. And we get the question all the time, how long is a pre-approval letter actually good for? And the answer, Ben, is so something changes. Yeah, and even if you keep your job, your credit stays the same, and you have your down payment money safely in the bank, that doesn't mean that your pre-approval letter is in the clear. That's right, Ben, because rising interest rates are a major factor that can change the validity of your pre-approval letter. I'm Ryan Leopold. I'm Ben Brashen. Welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. Years back, the word pre-approval was thrown around like a Russell Wilson deep pass. And when lender guidelines were loose, anyone was pre-approvable. So the pre-approval letter really didn't really matter. But now with tighter lending guidelines, a pre-approval letter is kind of like a cash-filled swimming pool because it shows that you actually have money that can buy you a house. And the scary thing is for buyers and everyone in, real, in the real estate industry is that rising interest rates are like a leak in that pool. The higher rates go, the less home buyers can actually borrow. Yeah, and with rates up just a bit and the continued lack of inventory, that can be pretty disconcerting, at least to a home buyer, especially if they're on a strict budget for their dream home purchase. Of course, there are strategies for agents and buyers to deal with this, starting with remaining actively engaged with your lender. You see, in a rising interest rate environment, you can't just assume the pre-approval letter from two months ago still carries the same weight. In fact, you may have lost a few thousand dollars in buying power the last two months because of rates going up a bit. Agents and buyers, a few lenders take the initiative, but when rates go up, you need to call your loan officer and confirm that validity of the pre-approval numbers on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. The good news is that a great lender will be available to discuss the interest rate market and other options that may be available. Even when rates go up, there are ways to buy down the rate with points. A lot of people don't like points, but sometimes it's just that it's an option to purchase the home of your dreams and maintain the proper monthly payment on your pre-approval. Another way to make your home purchase work in a rising interest rate environment is to be strategic with mortgage insurance. Many people don't know that buyers can have monthly mortgage insurance, pay it up front, or actually finance it into the loan, or even have the seller pay for the mortgage insurance at closing. Yeah, and if the right mortgage insurance strategy is implemented, that can also keep your payments down to a point that you can still get pre-approved even in a rising interest rate environment. And while interest rates may be rising, the temperature is cooling, which means fall is in the air. Don't forget to leave a comment below to be entered into the drawing for a round of golf with Ben and I at Aldera. And I got to play there last week, and let's just say it's in a class of its own. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Mortgage Resource TV. Of course, there's just two. Part two, take one. We're loose. Anyone was pre approval <laughs> Crashing. Welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. Great. Great.